Good evening. <clears throat> Good evening. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon, evening, wherever you're at. Welcome. I got a new controller cable. Because the stupid Xbox ones are cheap. They break easy. Oh, I'm alright. I've just been sleeping all day. Cold fever headache. I'll just plug this in. I hope this works now. All right, excellent. I'm hoping this will actually work now. Growing up, did your parents ever use the line if you're well enough to play video games or well enough to go to school? No. But it was like, not for video games, but like well enough to go play with your friends? Then yeah. I heard that one. Like well enough to go play in general. <laughs> Hello, people on Twitch. Tricky, thanks for subbing. Thanks for subbing over on Twitch. Ugh, I am warm. I need to turn the fan on. There we go. Hold on. Cold pizza in my mouth. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to do them. Yeah, uh, Tricky, thanks for subbing over on Twitch. Frederick, hello over on Twitch. YouTube people, hello. I started playing Ghost of Shoot. Tsushima New Game Plus, the game is a masterpiece. I love Ghost. I'm probably going to play after... I'm probably going to play some after um, I play some Trackmania. I'm going with Trackmania because I actually have the cable. That'll work better now. I'm going to keep disconnecting. Which will be nice. We'll warm up with this a little bit tonight. Do do do. Do 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 Game should pop up any second. There it goes. Soundtrack for Ghost is good. Yeah. All right. All right. So we're doing the fall campaign. We're now into the hardest set of tracks. So we'll see how it goes. Not going to school when you're sick wasn't only about you feeling bad. It was also about not getting other people sick. Yeah. This day and age of pandemic and stuff and you're sick, you got to stay home. Which is what I did.
All right, first track. Let's see what we got. Hopefully it's fun. No rails. Oh no. No! I thought you could, like, drive over that. Boy, was I wrong. Dude, there's a boost right before a 90-degree turn. That doesn't make any sense. Here we go. This is where I crashed before. Okay. I haven't been this far yet. Oh. Not Pog. Ah, such a hard turn. Ugh. Yikes. Such a hard turn because it's so fast. Why is it so bumpy right there? This is where I died, right? Oh my gosh, what? That was confusing. This track's too long be over a minute. Ugh. No metal. setting there's a lot of that in this track high speeds and then like full brake turns better. 16 seconds ahead. Ooh. Boom. Silver? Aww. I gotta get five more seconds for silver. Hey, Mitchell. Oh, 
um yeah i just got to uh i got some other videos i need to cover first I'm gonna save five seconds though, to be honest. Like that last one, I did pretty good. I'm kinda sick, Ruslan. Should I just try to go fast by crashing and everything? I feel a lot better. I feel better than last night. Last night I had a fever and I couldn't breathe. Today the fever's about basically gone. Um, I can breathe better. I'm not getting silver on this. I need three more seconds. <laughs> no thanks. Where'd you hear that, Mitchell? We could take his millions of dollars and retire. you doing how's the hospital treating you the heck from oversimplified brother what's that I could see like just getting burned out and being like yeah I've been sleeping all day, Caitlin. <coughs> I didn't really get out of bed till about noon. I went to the pharmacy. Okay, how do you do that? Why'd you go that way? Wow. I 
I got... You got in trouble from watching my stream area? Um, I know some of the oversimplified staff people. And I haven't heard anything. Not that necessarily they'd come out and tell me. I sucked. Why'd you have it on so loud? That's the question. Sometimes I yell and scream. That might, that might des definitely disturb some people. <laughs> Your opinion on Hitler? Was a monster. Or as much good as he thought he was actually doing. I don't know if I'm gonna make this. Oh, how far away was I from silver? Crap! continue. Downfall is a good movie. I watched that for the first time with you guys on a uh, streaming night or a movie night watch party how come I'm getting worse strongest member of the Axis powers Jeremy Japan was too uh, reliant on foreign resources. Hence Pearl Harbor. 
Man, that is so much faster than I think. Plans on a watch party? Yeah, I just don't know what to watch. I was thinking about doing one for Halloween. Just like scary movies. Maybe on a Halloween night. My uh, grandfather was a soldier in the Swiss Army during World War II. Basically, just consisted of them being on lock, just def defense mode. He lived. Uh, he lived right near the border, the border of where um, Germany, France, and Switzerland meet. And uh, at night be able to get on his roof and watch the war basically watch them fight the grandpa also said Germany would have lost a million men if they tried to invade tried to invade Switzerland <laughs> is that true I don't know but Gosh. I don't know how to make the first jump. Like, that first ramp. I don't, I don't know how to do that. Silver, all right. Yeah, it would not have been uh, good to invade this fate Switzerland. Switzerland is just a big fortified mountain. All their roads leading into the country, which are only a few are rigged with explosives and they're just completely fortified also everybody has military training it was mandatory back then Crap. Yeah, there's some cool videos you can watch on YouTube that'll tell you about uh, Switzerland's defense system and why it's basically impossible to invade. It's, it's interesting. Before World War One, the German Kaiser asked what the 500,000 Swiss army would do if Germany invaded with a million troops. The Swiss ambassador answered, we would go to war, shoot twice, and go back home. <laughs> <coughs> uh, 
That's awesome. Yeah, just because you're neutral doesn't mean you're not, like, tough or something. You know what I mean? In fact, some people might argument that that makes them tougher. So they don't sit there and get emotionally invested in world crap. Worry about yourself. Defend yourself. Keep an eye on things. Whoa, that's slippery. I don't know where I'm going. Thanks for telling me, game. You don't know where to go. You don't get anything out of invading Switzerland. Plus, a lot of, you know, Switzerland is... A lot of people like Switzerland because... Um, so many countries have investments in their banking system. You know what I mean? It's like everybody does. It would be against almost er basically everybody's best interests to mess with Switzerland. Where am I going? Right here? That was a total guess. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Ah! Oh. Okay, what's this going to be over? Oh yeah, they got hidden defenses all over, yep. It says Clausy donated twenty dollars. I don't think you did though. <laughs> Thanks for following Clausy. Did you actually donate twenty? I don't, I don't think that's the message I get when someone donates $20. I could be wrong. Thank you for following. Alright, new one. Where are we going, left? Jumping up here, uh, hard left. Blind fall here. Keeps texting me. Hold on. Boss man. Is that worth slowing down to get the boost? I'm gonna assume no. Wow. <laughs> that was too fast. I supposed to hit that? Was that punishing? Ugh. Come on. 
jump that difficult this far into the game? Wow. <sighs> this might be the last track I play. I'll switch games. Grass just slows you down so much. <sighs> I'm not making that. Oh, good. Gosh. Track's hard. Be able to drift on that long turbo, this one, that, that long turbo boost, what long turbo boost? This one? can't even like pass it <coughs> one time I don't know if you can really Or if you'd really want to. Uh, I'll stay with it. I can't, I can't get up that one. If I can't get it soon, I'm, I'm going to be done. Take a break. Why don't you tell me when you were streaming? How was I supposed to know when it was? OK, 
Okay, I have good speed. Yes. Furthest I've been. Stay on the ground. Let's switch it up. Let's go to my PS5. Do some PS5 stuff. What a make McMahon McMahon Give me Fortnite updates. Nobody cares. What year do you think this is? Stare, you only have a PS5, right? You don't have both new gen consoles? I have a Switch. All right, we're doing a uh, the Masako story. Wait, what? Return? Why? Oh, this way. Tracks. They're there. Wrestling. They went this way. Why would someone kill Hina? To keep us from finding well, it's hard to find the new consoles. You, we had. you can get a switch, I think, pretty easy, right? Many people saw her with me. You made sure they did. You used her as bait. I hoped her husband would take it. You should have told me your plan. So you could stop me? I promised to protect her. You promised to protect her. You promised. I might end up getting a Xbox, Only one set of tracks. whatever they're the called now, um, they're just for Game Pass. There, are, there aren't any Xbox alone. exclusives I care about, so I like Sony exclusives, which is why I keep going with PlayStation. Ever since the, uh, I was Xbox uh, through the 360. I was all Xbox. Let's do this. Get the system you like their exclusive games for. That's what I would say. But again, Game Pass is pretty awesome on Xbox. If you don't care about the exclusives, then yeah, Game Pass is a fantastic deal. Oh, what? No, oh, no. Aim at her. Oh. 
Jump slash. My character's uh, moves are all upgraded now. Hachi, Sadao's brother. Why did you kill Hina? Tried to free her. She wouldn't leave. Wanted to save Sadao. She screamed for you. I, I didn't mean to. Where's your brother? I failed him. I won't betray him. Xbox has some future games you want to play? You can't die! Tell me where he is! He's gone. Hina died for nothing. Hmm. She was murdered by traitors, just like my family. I can't. I don't know of anything on Xbox exclusive wise coming out I care about. I don't care about Gears of War or Halo, so. Unless they have something else coming out. Game Pass is kind of is cool though. I mean that's worth getting. Plus you get to, I think it works on PC as well. A map. A map of supply routes. He delivered food to survivor camps. Fable. Maybe Sadow is hiding there somewhere. Go to the nearest camp and talk to the monk in charge. He might know. So your PC parts are really expensive right now. I will bury Hina. I owe her that. I'll find you at the camp when I'm done. Oh, it's windy outside. Technique point. Earned. Earned. I got a charm. Attacks have a five percent chance to do double damage. Eh. I can upgrade the Sakai clan armor. Oh, let's go do that. I have the stuff. I have the silk. Sounds good. Let's go uh, over here then. Burb. 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 The burb. You guys know the bird is the word? Increase the standoff streak by two. Winning a standoff has 25% chance to terrify enemies. Ooh. Got it. Well. Upgraded armor. Heck yeah, look at me now. The bird 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 bird's the word. The bird 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 the bird is the word. Don't you know about the bird? Yeah, everybody knows that the bird is the word. To find the monk in charge of this camp. He may be able to read the map I found on the traitor's brother. Lord Sakai, how good to see you. Junshin, I should have expected to find you here. How may I serve you? Do you know these lands well? I have set up all of these camps. Does this map mean anything to you? Flash gets? Never heard of it. Hmm. We give these to our wagon drivers who deliver food. They mark where the camps are so no one gets missed. Is that blood? Do you see anything that isn't one of your camps? I hear rumors of our own people killing each other in Ariake. Traitors are praying on innocent people. They murdered the women and children of Clan Arachi. We help bring them to justice. This map shows Ariake. We have no camps there, but people have said bandits have taken it over. Not bandits. Something worse. Lady Mop Super bandits. Arrived. I think she prefers to speak with you. Let's be with myself now. What have you learned? 
The headman of Kuta village might be at the lighthouse. Then her daughter built that for Ariake. This traitor has no shame. Sadao has men protecting him. There's no way they won't see us coming. Good. I want to give that traitor just enough time to fear what's coming. Let's go. The traitor. Traitor. Well, traitor. This is my horse. He's got golden, like, wraps and stuff now. Why would Sadao betray you? I accused him of stealing rice. Starving our people to turn it Wait, where are we going? You think he caused the rice shortages that hit Kuta? I can never it. it was such a disaster. I knew he was trying to hide something. Bad men are good at hiding their true natures. Guards outside. The coward is hiding at the top. <laughs> Yeah, right. Got him. I can do so many standoffs now. So I'm fully upgraded. Pretty much get all of them now, and then the rest run away. Kick him. Ah. To kill everyone I loved. And for what? To satisfy his pathetic hatred. When the Mongols defeated the samurai, I wanted to die with them. I threw myself into a battle I knew I couldn't win. It was easier. How do you survive? Let's turn it up a bit. I remember that I have people to protect. The dead to avenge. With Sadar dead, whoever is responsible will hear that I'm alive and hunting. They'll become afraid, make a mistake. Just be careful, Masako. You too. You are a part of this now. There are still traitors to find in Toyotama. I'll be there whenever you need me. Sourdough toast? That sounds good. Frankie, what are you doing over there? Come here. What are you doing? What are you licking? What are you licking? Tortillas? Ooh. I love a good homemade tortilla. Alright, I have a technique. <coughs> oh, 
I got one more thing to do. I did all these. Mm, this one. Okay, so I got all the the moves now. Is that her still up there? Oh, I killed it. The person. Pog. Where's uh where's she at now? Fifth peanut butter sandwich today. <laughs> you sure you don't want to like diversify a little bit? Oh, I shouldn't have. I should have spawned here. There we go. That place is hard to get out of. Move, Pranky. Omi Monastery. <gasps> Burb? There's something up there. the horse in here whoa oh. place is pretty cool I need to debulk Bulk. Bulk. I don't know if Oh, not deeper. Dude. That does not sound like a deeper. You are a bigger fool than I thought. Jin, a word, please. Don't have to. Where is she? Dude, look at that giant Buddha. Fasako, what's wrong? A man named Kachiwara recruited the men who killed my family. His name is on the list. He lives in this prison. I don't think I can climb it. That monk knows where, but he won't tell me. Junshi, what can I? I'll talk to you. It seems sacrilegious. I had body fat tests um, in college. They're like, oh, are you an athlete? Like my weight was higher than it 
should have been, if that makes sense. Because I'm pretty dense. Like, yeah, with your body fat. Like, with your weight, you should be considered, like, mildly obese, but you're not. Sorry, I can't climb up the Buddha. I'm gonna do it for a nutrition class, I think. And you, Otsukai. Lady Masako and I are looking for Kajiwara. We know where he is. She accused him of terrible things. I fear for his life if she finds him. Masako has good reason to believe he recruited the men who killed her family. He would never do that. He is a humble fisherman, a loving husband and father. I think she is blinded by rage. Jushin. Oh, you're six one. Need to tall. Him. Taller than me. Not that I'm tall. Kick. I'm only five ten. I'm short. <coughs> I'm short. Five foot ten. Oh, we're gonna find out if this fisherman is really the nice guy he says he is. Kajiwara's hut is on the beach. Well? We'll take the road to the coast. I can't imagine what you said to Junshin that I didn't. He doesn't even try to hear me. It's like talk. Shut Bye. up. Oh my god. We have to go. Come on. I don't want to talk to you right now. I think he's afraid of you. Thank you for your help, monk. He's afraid. You. Why? You can be intimidated. Oh, In our world, sorry, that's not a users. bad thing. We are hunting a cruel and vicious man. He was a retainer for our clan. Dependable and skilled, but quick to anger. Uh, my horse ever right where I wanted to be. I caught him. To call for him. His wife and a coward. Hurting his own family. I dismissed him immediately. I'd love to be 190, but I'm not even close. I'm way higher. Within a day, they've gone back to I'm fine with just 200 even. Easy. 200 even is good for on my body type. You think they'll change. It actually looks really skinny on me. If you look at some of the, I got really skinny looking in some of my, the height of my diet in about early 2020. Like it looks pretty good, but also I'm like, whoa, that's skinny. This path should take us to the beach. The bra, I have really broad shoulders we should and a big head, wide hips. Because you want his family at risk. So like 200 pounds on me looks a lot better than probably 200 pounds on a lot of other people. Alright, where are we going here? This way? That must be because he was fishing hut. The Mongols found it. They may have already killed him and his family. There's a chance they're still alive. Yeah, keto was Let's too go. restrictive. I couldn't keep it up. I did it for over a year. Lost 50 pounds. But it sucks <laughs> useful so but my god it sucks and I gained it all back so I gained everything I lost problem was me when I got out of keto I uh, didn't transfer to like a, a healthy diet I went to a bad diet so I just put weight Keto weight does take off a certain type of weight, though. It's not really your fat. It's it's a lot of water weight and kind of some muscle mass too. But like I worked out all summer, and uh, and even though I was off keto, I was gaining weight even when I was exercising. Working out every day. I also haven't been to the gym in about a month. Which isn't good. I 
got really busy and I'm sick of my friends. Lazy. Oh, I want to kick him in the water. Do it. Okay, no, 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 let me do it. Yes. <laughs> Dead. I don't see any more monuments. Let's check the house for Kajiwara and his family. They're dead. This must be Kajiwara's wife and daughter. I always feared this would be their fate. Maybe the Mongols killed them? Then where is Kajiwara's body? This blade is covered in blood. It doesn't look like a Mongol weapon. It's a fisherman's tool. Look. We are tall as 170 in freedom units. Mazako, footprints leading away from the hut. What if Kajiwara survived? Ran like a coward. of cloth that cloth silk more than a humble ah. fisherman could afford. let's follow the footprints well fishermen shouldn't be having a giant roll of silk this dude's corrupted all right where's the tracks tracks all this way tracks Kajiwara. oh here he is. Lady Masako. Three church cheeseburgers per bald eagle. My <laughs> wife and daughter. Quiet, snake. We know you killed them. Out of love. Better me than the Mongol. What? It's what they wanted. You sick Jin. You recruited the assassins who killed my family. Who hired you? Tell me and I will end you lovingly. Like you did your wife and daughter. All I know is, he understood. Understood what? How it feels to be ruined by you. How I was driven to poverty. The toll it took on my family. How <laughs> You're dead. I couldn't stand to hear another word. I don't know if her family was necessarily alive. good guys. Except about being ruined by me. I know Sadao felt the same way. Conspirators are bonded by hate. Clan warfare, man. It's brutal. Organized by a rival samurai with a deep grudge. But I can't think of who. You'll find him. The woman's hair different color? Uh, I couldn't tell. My horse. That's Sora. Sora. Sora's a good boy. Well, it kind of sounds like a girl's name. For a girl horse. But I've heard him say good boy. Moderate increase to melee damage. Hmm. I'll get I can strip. Do a little more of this. We'll do that one. You know, other movies too. Asteroids and stuff are always it's the size of Manhattan. It's the size of Texas. Let's go check out this undiscovered location.
A small boulder the size of a large boulder. <laughs> the heck. Burb? What do you got to show me? Better not just be the monastery. Oh my god, it is. Is it the guy? Wait. Oh yeah, you can like climb to the top of these, huh? Can't you? With the hook shot thing? Yeah. No. Oh no, I didn't find it. A wheelbarrow of cheese. A pallet of cake. Is that Jim Gaffigan? Who is that? I ever saw he made that. Pallet of cake. Wait, where's this thing? Oh. I'm pretty sure everyone in history was ugly. Like humans are evolving to be more attractive over time. So the fur the further you go back, the uglier people were. We we are living in the most attractive time. Oh yeah, Family Guy. <laughs> That's right. What are these units of measurement? A pallet of cake. <laughs> yeah. Wheelbarrow of cheese. Oh, fox den. Fox dens are actually kind of annoying though. A desk of pudding. <laughs> Plus, everyone in history was really gross. I don't know if I've ever seen what bite looks like. Thank you, Fox. Of staff, I only know who, like, Con Fox, uh, Inquisitor. I know he looks like, um, mo most of uh, winter. <coughs> that might be it. Oh, the staff people, though. I know more of what the 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 uh, just members of Discord and stuff look like. They post pictures all the time. Who's like the studliest Inuit in history? Who's like, who's who's, who's yeah? Who's the main the main squeeze? All right. Where's she at? Where's she go? Excuse me. Where's her mark? Oh, up here.
Who's the squeak? Yeah, who's like... Who's like the historically attractive Inuit man of history or woman? Of legendary handsome and beauty. Handsomeness and beauty. Gotta be one, right? Doesn't every culture have one? One day I'll do, maybe one day I'll do a face reveal. Tell her cloned of Andy Samberg. Is there a joke about that? Like, oh, you say I look like Andy Samberg? So you're saying I have, so all you're, all you're really saying is I have a really big nose. Isn't that, isn't that a joke from somewhere? You say you look like Andy Samberg, so you're just saying I have a huge nose. <laughs> you said you needed to mourn Tucker. No time Teddy for... Roosevelt. Who did this? A Mongol warlord, Altan. I heard stories Teddy. coming out of Otsuna. He's terrorizing Real man's everyone, man. stealing food, medicine, slaughtering families. New York City born, but Anyone raised in the wilderness. Tries to run. They get butchered like animals. An old friend of mine. Inuit model named Willow Allen. I can't believe her was dead. Let's check her out. We'll find your friend and put an end to this warlord. Willow Allen. That's a nice name. Oh, yeah. She's very good looking. this way. She like. She looks kind of like kind of mixed, maybe like mixed race. Something about Singapore in her bio. Yeah, she's she's really good looking. Who is a friend? Her name's Ichi. I've known her since I was. I'll go child. ice fish with her. She taught me how to survive. Have you seen her since the invasion? No, I haven't seen her in years. Curb. Oh yeah, Kev, you're one of my former students. I don't know if you told me who you are though. Did you ever tell me who you are? We should scout the inn. We'll have the best view from over here. That man might tell us what to expect inside. Better talk to him before they come back. All right, what am I doing here? Yeah. Talking to folk? What do you want? We've come to help. You shouldn't be here. If they see me, we're looking for Ichi. She runs this inn. Have you seen her? God, help! Oh, There's trouble. Get ready. Oh no. Do you guys see? Uh, you guys all see Squid Game? I think that girl is really pretty. The main girl. Got your flu shot today. I've never had a regular flu shot. Just I've had the COVID shots, but the second one kicked my butt for about 12 hours. Made me really sore and high fever. Ichi, where are you? Is it Ishi? Where are you? Ishi doesn't come to live streams. Did they really just not have stairs back in feudal Japan? It was just ladders? Like, that seems so inefficient. <laughs> like, challenging. I 
I get so many freaking phone updates from Yahoo Fantasy Football. I get like 12 a day notifications on my phone. And I swear I only set it to give me like updates. I, all I want on uh, notifications is like if my player gets injured or something. But it's like... Are the Bengals the real deal? Read this article. Eating. You're alive. Why are you here? I came to save you. You've killed me, Yuna. Oh, I missed one day of school I and I had like 20 emails. Drunk and distracted. But when Altan hears about this, about what you've done, you are working with the Mongols to survive. Is, yeah, it's 212, the, back. yeah, the, yeah, the super and you annoying one. Away, like you always I was trying do. to get with everybody. The, the North Korean girl in the show. She risked her life to save you. I heard, um, they said that was her first ever acting job. She'd never acted before. They say she kind of, like, we can protect you from our burst onto the scene with that performance. No one knows where he is. Not even his men. She's probably the best actor in the whole thing. Tell me. Find his most valued allies. Whole show. The Japanese slavers who do his bidding. Make an example of them. And Altan will find you. Who are these slavers? Ask Yuna. She'll remember. I don't know what happened between you in the past, but she only wants to help. Yuna had her chance. Yeah, we had her chance. Yuna. What did she tell you? Oh, wait. Not enough. If you this is the Yuna? I wanted the Masako storyline. What up, Brian that? Worms? Where do we start? We heard I almost said Brian. Brian Worms. Slavers. The Momoshi brothers. Each said he knowed them. I bet she did. Those three bastards right up far up near the river. When you're ready, meet me there. We'll do this together. I will. Thank you, too. I'm watching a game that's real similar to Squid... Or a show real similar to Squid Game. Have you guys heard of Alice in Borderland? It's also on Netflix. Yeah, she's a model before, but yeah. She uh, hadn't acted before. But it's kind of interesting. It's it's <coughs> real similar to Squid Game in a lot of ways. People forced to compete in games that you can die in. I thought I finished... I thought I finished Yuna's storyline, though. Where is... Where's Masako's storyline? There we go. Where? I swear I was over there and saw that. Takeshi's Castle's the original. Anyone ever die in that show? The people who were. So incredibly uncoordinated and unathletic on Takeshi's castle. Lord Samurai, please. No. I have a message for you. Um. Okay, let's see. Can I whistle in my mask? <laughs> can't hobbit hole Jin over here quickly guys I gotta go potty 
tired of being sick. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, while I'm gone, let's... Let's uh let's build the flag real quick. Let's go let's build the flag. Take a quick break here. I mean we got we gotta build the flag. We're gonna do not build the flag. It's Hot Dad here. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like what I'm making, blast that subscribe button, smash, smash the share, slam those social media links, mangle some merch, or consider supporting me on Patreon. I love you. Have a great day. Have a great night. Have a great life. What the heck is this? Did we already build the flag? What is this?
Hot Burger King aims to please. Is this any good? That sounds kind of good. Mm, I go back to Burger King. Oh, their fries suck, though. Okay, Burger King's not getting free advertisement. The thumbnail for the stream is Far Cry. Oh, let's change that. It automatically just puts the last one on. Uh, let's switch. I should have made a gaming thumbnails folder to put new stuff. Fine, as long as we built the flag, we're good. <laughs> Start of Sumido's country. Masako, how long have you been here? Not long enough. You need some rest. What I need is justice for my family's murder. I'll be one step closer once I catch the snake named Umara. One of the conspirators on the list. Hey, Chaim. He supplied the weapons that butchered my family. Chaim or Chaim? Then we will find him and make him talk. The fool. Pity the fool. We need to get out of the open. This way. Should be a law rule. <laughs> Why isn't she getting on a horse? Omida's rumored to be traveling to Umubi. I just don't know where. Horses are faster. Been camping out, waiting. Oh, we're gonna. We can keep watch from here. Are we gonna ambush something? Do you know what Omida looks like? I'm not sure. I haven't seen him in twenty years. You knew him. He supplied our clan, but he cheated us and tried Obra. to blame my husband Could for not paying him enough. Obra. Was he right? Of course not. Now please watch the road and get comfortable. We might be here a while. Need some Burger King Moscow. now. There, men on the walkway. They look just like him, exactly like Omana twenty years ago. They must be his sons. Were they both involved? Let's find out. I'm taking the camera. There are people I need to speak with. People you need to vote for. Could you be a law over? Splitting up. Let's follow them. See what we can learn. I'll take the left. You take the right. The canyon is narrow. Stay high to avoid being seen. Will do. This is like half of Assassin's Creed missions. Some, uh, conveniently placed. We are all wet. I didn't mean to do that. Someone there? I see you. Hi. <laughs> ah, this is what it sucks to have two different games. I push the button to crouch for Far Cry. Well, yeah, you should build your flag too. We should all build the flag. Yeah, 
it wouldn't be as as cool as as good of a flag. I don't, I don't know if it would uh, make America not number two, but uh, yeah. Guy talking to himself. Morning, I'll have enough money to make up for your <coughs> make Papua New Guinea not be number two. Dude, I sneeze and hurt my back. My back hurts. Should be like a tutorial the tutorial at the beginning of the game for how to climb stuff and sneak not like late in the game Cove. I already know this place. Already know this place. Wait, where is he? Oh, the bar? What are you expecting? This is Umugi. Some kind of note. It's Yoshimura. But this guy that I'm tracking doesn't even know how to build the flag. I should find Masako. He probably won't even build the flag. Alright, so he's just running over there. Four still lava. Can I go on the ground now? How can you shoot something into a bone? Is that possible? Alright, four is not lava. Okay. Jim, over here. The one I followed was involved. He spoke of revenge against the Clan Other Chief. Then what are we waiting for? He's on his way to meet the man who hired him. The man who ordered my family murdered. Let's get closer. Hear what they're saying. This way. Follow Masako. Shots can hurt. The wind couldn't move it, so it just didn't unfurl. So they at least they built the flag, though. My father was always a drunk. Listen, we pulled this off, and you can use the money to escape. Take your family and leave the Mongols behind. Let's get this over with. They're leaving. Let's follow. Keep low, or they're not here. Can I really be of the reach? That's where I told them to meet us. Quick. Doesn't want any beginning now. I don't know how you sneak past all that junk. Or kill us. I didn't kill them. I just provided the weapons. Cowards. 
Now that I've got all the upgrades, I feel like going back to the DLC now. I feel like I should be equipped enough now. What do you guys think? That was the reason I went back to the main quest, was the new area was too uh, overpowering for me. Because I had to start the game over. Let me get to the new content. Let's wait. See what happens. Elaborate ruse? I hope we haven't kept you waiting. Which one of you Roman? That would be me. Oh, they're dead. No, Roman is mine. Are we fighting? still have it on him. Don't look. I'll check the bandits. See if they're holding anything. We've well, got to look the bandits. You are to meet a man named Omura in Omugi Cove. He means to blackmail me. Kill him. I'm moving funds from Kushi and will pay you upon successful completion. This note bears the same clan emblem that was on the list of my aim. <sighs> No need for threats. I'll gladly bring payment to Mugi in exchange for your silence. Until then, know your discretion is appreciated and that you'll be generously compensated. This was a setup. Whoever killed your family, the order Omura here to silence him. A coward is covering his tracks. Judging by this note, it's clear he's desperate for money. He must not lead a wealthy clan. Or he has no clan at all. You think my family's killer isn't a samurai? Maybe he wants to become one, start his own clan. And he's scavenging the corpse of Clan Adachi to fund it. Do you, you can just start a clan? For such a plot. I can use this, narrow my search. Most people don't get flu shots in the US. This hunt is killing you. Until I find the man responsible, there is no rest. I would say, this is at least I think. But a lot of people do, though. Hey, Phantom Samurai. Charm over resolve. 25% increase to resolve gains. Ooh. Don't I have a, a resolve thing? 15%. Yeah, I want this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wind chimes release poison vapors. Oh, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care at all. I don't care. Is that Yuna? That's Yuna. The demon circle. Eight of nine. Ugh. Maybe I should finish her quest line. Yeah, I should probably do that. We got to move Where's Juji? Where's the 
Masako! Speak, monk! Please stop! Where is Junjin? I was alone. Masako! Yo, what are you doing? Chill. Helping this monk find his tongue. My lord! Help! Masako, let me handle this. Fine. Do whatever you want. But if you can't make him talk, I will. She was going to kill me. No harm will come to you. What do you know about Junshin? Junshin was helping survivors at Red Leaf Temple. But I hear the Mongols raided it. Then he's in danger. We will find him. What do you want with Junshin? He conspired to kill my family. He's been saving refugees. Family. And his name was nonetheless be found. Do you guys say family Someone or family? At the temple. It's identical Two to syllables the or three syllables? Carried. Junshin was promised supplies for his relief camps. In return, he was to provide information on my... I mean, there's an eye in there. It's just an offer. This proves nothing. It proves he had contact with the person who killed my family. We will get to the bottom of this. By talking family. to Junshin. You have my word. He was last seen at Redleaf Temple. That's the conspirator. Let's go. Wait for me. Keep up. <laughs> Lead the way. We circle. Quickly, Sora. Let's go, sort of. What's this stuff? Don't mind me, I'm just looking around. Look how pretty it is. When we find the monk, let me deal with him. Remember, we agreed to talk to him. The men who killed my family talked with their swords. Masako, you will not kill Junshin until we're certain of his guilt. Your father was murdered. Did you talk with his killer? Lord Shimura tracked him down and collected his head. You had your vengeance, Jin. Don't stand in the way of mine. What? Screams. And this tree hole. Enough! Bastards! Pay for that! Good innocent. Junshin, this way. Full body pillow. <laughs> the temple is close, and so is the monk. I use two bills too. Well, then I kill the monk. Fine. I'll take one. You take the other. Oh, we're we're walking up. It's looking at us. So we are shooting. Okay. Yo, Ari Coca, first super chat of the night, I think. Taking uh, class at education policy, I wanted to ask, what are some changes you want to see in schools? I want to answer, but it'd be helpful. Thank you for the $5 super chat. Uh, let me think about that, because I think I got plenty to say on that. Oh my god, I didn't need to go out there.
know if it's educational policy as much as it is um, educational culture that needs to change. Oh. Masako. Stand aside, Jin. You betrayed my family. My family. Run. Um. We fight. Mongols win. Oh my god. Am I gonna fight her? They already won. She's gonna fight me now? Oh my god. Get a hold of yourself, Masako. Your family was terrible. Oh, friend. Give. Me, the monk. No. Wow. Okay. My specials don't work on her. This has to be a little more long and drawn out. How come? I cannot cancel her hits, though. Overpower her. You are defending a murderer. You agreed to talk to him. Talking never works. You promised me. I my promises to my family. You hear them coming? They are the enemy. Literally. Right now. She already wants to die anyways. While the Mongols are launching arrows at us. Alright, Coca, I'll, 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 uh, let me finish this and I'll... I'll Tell you what's up. Feel free to put uh, any opinions you already have on the matter. Ari. So is that a boss fight? Where are you shooting from? Dude, since that Burger King song, I now want a walk. Oh, we got ghost mode. Ready for this? Chopping off limbs. Your leg's gone. Your arm's gone. Your arm is gone. And your arm is gone. You gave me your word. Why does your character care that much about a monk All after killing thousands of people? All I saw my dead grandchildren. Their faces after being cut down. And you were protecting him. So you tried to kill me? Have you lost your mind? I have lost everything! No. You've sacrificed everything. For revenge. And what do you feel when you think of Juzo? True. Can't let anger consume us. Or blind us to our friends. You still trust me? Junshin won't get far. We can track him down. Masako. You'll never try to kill me again. <laughs> I won't. I promise. Look for his tracks. I mean, that revenge thing is how we feel, but it's not the most productive thing at this time. We have to prioritize at the moment. All right, Ari, uh, educational policy. Jin, over 
Yeah. Teacher pay and toxic work culture or something. <coughs> I would want change. My mom used to teach and I want to follow in her footsteps. Yeah, I mean, again, that's more like... Uh, it's more about the, the culture and education right now is very... Um, Tuition went this way. Bad. Uh, morale is extremely low. Looks like you ran into the woods. Um, in the world of misinformation, parents are losing their minds over things that they're being lied to about. Standards are incredibly low. Perhaps I should speak with him first. And our expectations are incredibly low right now. It doesn't matter. Jinshin won't. We need him to talk. But remember we have an anti-education movement talk. going on right now. By the... Most uneducated people in uh, society. We have an anti-science movement that is happening. So, it's far more societal and structural than the problem is. Right, the monk, let's follow the monk. I mean, yeah, throwing money at things isn't necessarily what fixes problems. Bernard, you're 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 right. Um, we have a large portion of parents that uh, are enabling their kids and are more interested in being cool mom and cool dad than actually raising a person. fine to be dumb like people are dumb on a lot of things but when you're dumb about something don't act like you know about it which is what people are doing what do you do when you're dumb about something you listen to people that aren't dumb about the things and we don't do that there he is. please don't kill who offered you supplies in exchange anymore because we live in a world of disinformation where she called herself Lady Hana. Liar! Let's go wait. Who's Lady Hana? Anything you want to be true should be considered. She was massacred with the rest of my family. Um, legitimate. She visited me two nights ago. Wore a crimson kimono with a golden sash. I remember. She smelled of chrysanthemum. No. And school boards and stuff are, because they're democratically elected positions are. Uh, Leave us. Cowering as well. She murdered the children. Why would she want to destroy your clan? I don't know. Unfortunately, educational policy too, it's being made. A lot of policy is being made by higher policy people, higher policy creators, with no input from the actual stakeholders and the people that uh do that so you get state boards and people that have no experience in education they're making policy without getting the input of teachers people that have boots on the ground that's a major problem happening right now okay what oh, what did i just which charm did I just get? It was a level two, ch this one. Oh, I don't want that one anyways. Have you guys ever heard of the Dunning-Kruger effect? That is at an all time high right now. Go ahead and look it up. Society is full of uh, people that suffer from this and uh, we're enabling them. Let's go. 
Right, let's go free this place up. I like doing that, freeing up the villages and things of Mongol influence. If you don't know what Dunning Dunning Kruger. The study. Dunning Kruger. D U N N I N G dash Kruger K R U E G E R. Essentially what it says is there are people that are basically too dumb to know that they're dumb. <laughs> Does that make sense? That's that's part of it. You're you're like you're too dumb to know that you're dumb. take a break and I'll show you what I'm talking about. No, but their confidence level in their intelligence is like, is incredibly high. That's the problem. Let me show you. It's something that's psychologically being much better understood these days and explains a lot. <gasps> okay. Dunning-Kruger effect in psychology is a, cogn a cognitive bias whereby people with limited knowledge or competence in a given intellectual or social domain greatly overestimate their own knowledge or competence in that domain relative to objective criteria or to the performance of their peers or people in general. Basically, it's like you're, extre you're, you're really dumb on something, but you have an incredible confidence in it. Delusional is is a uh, it, it is they they live in a world of delusion that's for sure. Like this is this is like like flat earthers, anti vaxxers like stuff like that. Suffer from this. Dunning-Kruger effect is a hypothetical cognitive bias stating that people with low ability at a task overestimate their own ability and that people with high ability at a task under, underestimate their own ability. There is a flip side to this. Sometimes there is a flip side to this. Some people are so smart that they underestimate themselves. But unfortunately, or usually though, it's people that are too dumb and overestimate their own knowledge or competency in something. As described by psychologists David Dunning and Justin Kruger, the bias results from an internal illusion. Someone said illusion here, uh, Nate. Described as, uh, the bias results from an internal illusion in people of low ability and form an external misperception in people of high ability. That is, the miscalibration of the incompetent stems from an error about the self, whereas the miscalibration of the highly competent stems from an error about others. It is relative to the cognitive bias of illusory, uh, illusory superiority and comes from people's inability to recognize their lack of ability. There you go. That, that kind of sums it up. It's, it's someone's inability to recognize their lack of ability. Without the self-awareness of metacognition, people cannot objectively evaluate their level of competence. The effect or... Dunning and Kruger's original explanation for the effect has been challenged by mathematical analyses and comparisons across cultures. Okay. So there's always, yeah, stuff that, uh, yeah. You're unable to recognize your own incompetence. So you have this, they have one of the graphs or one of the charts that you see. Let me find, I bet you could find, oh yeah, all these things over here. <laughs> Wait, what is this? 
Who made this one? So your confidence is high, but your competence is low. So like here, this is where a lot of people are. So it's a balance. Are you, are you balanced in your confidence and your competence? Confidence in yourself versus competence of how you can actually realize it. So does your confidence match your competence in something? Think of any kind of skill you have or think you have. Do you feel like you're pretty aware of your competence in that thing? Right? Because, because you know, you, you know what I'm talking about. There's people that are extremely confident about things that they shouldn't be. Because um, they, they obviously just don't get it. You ever seen people that really think they can sing really well, but they're terrible? Look at like singing competitions. Those people like, like they don't get it. They're like, what do you mean? I, I'm amazing. I'm awesome at singing. You guys are wrong. Right? When like by most like objective standpoints, no, you're actually really bad. <laughs> know what I mean? Maybe that's, uh, maybe I don't know if that's a good example, but anyway. So back to educational policy. We have a lot of people that suffer from this that are really, really loud in society right now, in education. And it's from the uneducated usually. They have, there's some kind of mechanism in them that keeps them from understanding their own competency. Or maybe it's a defense mechanism. Maybe the brain knows it's incompetent, but can't accept that so it, it masks it with confidence maybe that's part of the psychology maybe we'll understand that that it's it's an actual defense mechanism in our brain that if our competence is low in something then it's better for us to be overconfident in our lack of ability maybe that's somehow better for us i don't know but it's a problem I think another thing is learning the difference between being an expert and being well-versed. Yeah. All these people are incapable of admitting they were wrong, even if you show them proof, because for them, that is like losing admitting they are not perfect. Right. There, there's, there's ego to that. That's where the confidence part of that scale is, where understanding your competence of something is different than your confidence in something. Oh, sorry. I need to go back. So, uh, Ari Koka, are you still in here? I didn't start really hearing about the Dunning-Kruger effect until I started studying um, conspiracy theorists, and they're the perfect example of it. That's when I heard it. Like, that's, that's what explains conspiracy theorists, is they suffer from Dunning-Kruger. So, Ari, that doesn't answer your question, though, because that's not, that's not policy. This is going to sound weird. I hope it doesn't sound like a, a fascist or something. But our educational system has become basically too democratic. We, we are starting to, based on people's opinions and just the number of people that believe something, that it's educational fact and should be taught as fact. Like, no, truth, truth, there's, what's that fallacy, um, argument ad populum, where it's like, something is true because a lot of people believe it, which is just not the case. And educational policy has opened um, the door. The people that are not experts or experienced in something have the ability to make policy. Flat Earther paid uh, twenty thousand dollars and ended up proving the Earth is indeed round. Then he still didn't believe it. Yeah, that's Dunning Kruger exactly. 
Yeah, that's my... Does that count, Arikoka? You can ask something spe more specific if you want. Truth doesn't care about your feelings, right? But we live in a world where now we'll see misinformation and because it makes our feelings feel nice that it can be seen as legitimate when it's not. Face me. Dude, just line them up. This is it, right? Okay. Are you? Can you guys see me? I can't tell if they can see me or not. No matter. Do you have an assignment that you're trying to... You need to ask teachers? Stuff? I wish in my education program we had to do that more. I mean, we did a lot of observations. and I remember having to interview a little bit, like, teachers. But I didn't even love a lot of the questions. But I, I, I think that would be even more useful. Going into education. Um, get more perspectives from those in the field. When you come out of college, unfortunately, you will have a very different constructed view of what education is like than what you are taught. And it's true, though. Like, no, your teacher education will not fully prepare you for teaching. It's only with experience that you will fully get a grasp on it. I mean, again, there's people that don't want to, like, as a social studies teachers, one of the ones that get um, the most attention because we teach things in history that are uncomfortable. And um, we are letting people that aren't in education, potentially, to dictate what is going to be taught in curriculums by people that... Don't have any experience in it. Okay, so I'm in college studying conflict, but I have an interest in education as well. I got to do a policy brief as a final assignment, and I'm kind of stumped right now. Uh, what do you mean? I can help you. One quote that I love is a guy telling Gutenberg, your press will allow us to spread the written word, but it'll also allow all the idiots to have their word printed forever. The internet is worse. Someone told Gutenberg that? I mean, it makes sense. I mean, if you think about it, the church all throughout the Middle Ages, you would think it would be in the best interest for the church, for example, throughout the European Middle Ages to invent the printing press, right? Let's mass produce the Bible. Let's mass produce the Bible. Let's get it out. Let's mass produce it at a low cost and get it out everywhere. But no. Knowledge is also power. Knowledge is power. And when you, you lose control of the message, if it's out readily out... Dog pooped on the floor. Dude, my dog still does that sometimes. Usually when I'm gone for a long time. I hate it. He still does it sometimes. It's not It's not real often, though, but I hate it. I 
I gotta write a mock policy about an issue in education. It has to be addressed to either a real life school board or a policymaker or politician. You gotta write a mock policy. Do you actually have to send it? Or just pretend that you're sending it? I think something that should be addressed is graduation requirements, as far as policy goes, as far as what classes people are supposed to take and in which order. Like, kind of where I live, the um, the years you take social studies classes kind of doesn't make a lot of sense. Like where I live, in seventh grade you take your state's history. In 8th grade, you take U.S. history up to the Civil War. In ninth grade, you take geography. In 10th grade, you take world history. And then your junior year, you take... Um, the second half of U.S. history. There are three years different <coughs> between the different U.S. histories. And uh, I think that's really weird. You never took a class that was a history of your state? You're from Colorado, so like you said, right? So you never took a history of Colorado class? A lot of states are huge on that. Ohio's winter school. Okay, so you never took like a history of Ohio. Ooh, we gotta liberate this thing. All right, sorry. Oh. Dog's gonna attack me, just so you guys know. Dude, these dogs are awesome, by the way. They're big old fluffy things. Too bad they're... They were raised to be evil. Oh. Come on, we can't use that... Battering ram by myself. The Bibles were in Latin because they didn't want people to read what it really said. The first translator was John Wycliffe, so they scared the people into spreading common tongues. Right. Yeah, Bernard. That, that was my point. You could see that people were... He there were people, especially powerful people, that were hesitant. Like, there is no reason... There is no reason the printing press... In Europe... Needed to be invented as late as the 14th century. But I think a policy issue, I mean, I think you could talk about, look at your state's uh, curriculum or uh, your, your graduation requirements and look at it and ask yourself if you think... Um, is it uh, good? Are we taking too much of certain types of classes? Are we taking too little of certain things? I think that's always a great thing to look at. And it's obviously based on the state you live in. I, for one, think we need to be... Uh, public education needs to be more invested into uh, high school trade schools. Where kids that aren't functioning in traditional academia can focus on skill acqu uh, acquiring of uh, vocational skills. We need vocational schools for um, uh, for kids. There's kids that in high school and stuff. It's just not working. They don't they don't need to learn calculus. Okay. And because of that, they have behavioral problems and distract classes. We'll be much better off learning vocational skills. And if they want to come back to learn that other stuff later to get a new career, so be it. Yeah, there's no reason the printing press needed to wait on. The Chinese were printing with wood block printing centuries before the Europeans. But the powers that be wouldn't uh, do it. So it had to come eventually from the private sector. I mean, 
Gutenberg, Johann Gutenberg needed the modern day equivalent of millions of dollars, basically, to invest in his printing press system. So it had to come from private capital. And it could have easily been state supported or uh, institutionally supported. Uh, look. It's not some crazy invention requiring a bunch of new scientific principles to be invented. Did I get these kunais? Okay. Did I get everything? Not yet. Yeah, it took him a long time to get the investors. And I are so OP. What? Oh, I should have wasted those. I could have done a chain assassination. I think there's somebody up here. Can I climb up there? Hey! Shot you. What the? You immune to arrows and fire? Oh, they got Ronin here, too. Fucking traitor. These guys right here are the traitors. The Japanese were siding with them. Now books are obsolete. Well, it's... Uh, I mean, okay, paperback, yeah, but, like... Publication of materials digitally, of course, is not died. We gotta build the flag. Here it is. These guys are good sword fighters, though. Traitorish Japanese folk. The, uh, shoot, what are they called? Shoot. See, they're, they're, they're no joke. Get up. <coughs> what are these guys called again? Gosh. Ronin. The oh, Ronin. My gosh. My canine didn't hurt him. I think there's a hesitation to teach vocational skills in school because everybody wants their kids to be a doctor or lawyer and whatever, and the plumber and electrician always held up as a failure. That Here's the thing about that. I, I don't... I mean, no, I have plenty of, of parents of low-achieving kids that all they care about is that their kid just graduates. They, they know they're not going to go into anything, and they don't even care. It's fine. They don't even, they don't care. And to them, like, what are they shooting at? What are they shooting at? I think it would get a lot more support than uh, people think. And they don't have to be massive, like... Like, every school district should have a vocational school. And, like, we have kind of one. It's not a full-time school, though. You just take, like, a couple classes. Like, oh, I think engineering would be cool. So you take it for, like, two periods a day. And you go to this other building. It's not like that is the only... Like, that's what you're doing. So with that, it'd be focused more on the skills and some of the other stuff. Like, there's a lot of other things you need from high school, you know. Learning literacy and that kind of thing. But it could be less focused on some of the academia type things. You know what I mean? Like, Canada, 
I know some of you guys are from Canada. You guys have a way better system of your like vocational colleges and stuff, which are more like community colleges here in the United States, but way more vocationally focused. Here, vocational schools are incredibly expensive and all for like post high school graduates, basically post high school people. So we're talking people like in their 20s, you know, where it's like, it's kind of too late. But Canada has vocational high schools too, right? Is that right? Where I live, my school has a high school for vocational skills. Exactly. Is it a school that that's where you go to all your classes? Or do you just go... Like here, they have these... these uh, They call them tech center classes. Where there's a couple campuses. And you'll go there for like... Two of your four periods a day. You'll go to this other building. And then you come back and take like your regular high school classes. At your regular high school. But you're not there the whole time. You're, you're there, you take two periods worth of a specific course. It's a program. We are getting a growth in STEM schools, but they really don't... They're not as vocationally focused. And some of these kids might learn a lot more. They'll be like, okay, hey, you go to this vocational school. Okay, here's where you're going to be taken. Um, okay, you're going to have your elect, uh, um, your electrician class. All right, here's your uh, mechanics, diesel mechanics class. Here's your uh, welding class. Now, unfortunately, though, I mean, in some way, we got to hope that their jobs, those are going to be jobs that are not going to be replaced with, uh, and this is another another subject. Uh, jobs that aren't going to be replaced with automation, which I know is a maybe a concern of the vocational side of things. Because we're going to need uh, we need you know uh, we need engineers and programmers and stuff like that to build and design automation. Am I done with this place yet? Still not yet. Saw somebody over here. Yeah, I mean, that would kind of be a bummer if we just train people in a vocation that they're about to be replaced with automation. Unfortunately, a lot of those jobs that are immune to automation are very high level academic stuff. Computer programming, engineering, where you really have to know mathematics and all, like high level stuff like that. Yes, McMahon, that's exactly what I'm saying. We need in the U.S. That's exactly what we need in the U.S. And we that that largely does not exist. There are some places that do that, but it's. Quite rare. I don't even know of one specifically, like near me. Yeah, and a lot of those jobs are great entry level. They're such good. They're, they're way better entry level jobs than a lot of jobs you're going to get out of a traditional university. They may not top out, you know, as high as some of these other places or these other professions, but they have great entry level. It's like that. Yeah, a kid can learn some basic stuff. Yeah, plumbing or something right out of high school. And be, by the time 18, have some proficient skills and would be a great uh, um, apprentice or something, you know what I mean, to a company. Or, okay, build your way up the corporate ladder by starting at working at a... Uh, fast food joint for minimum wage like which is going to be better 
And the kid that doesn't have that skill set coming out of high school is going to be left in the dust. That was the intention of the 1900s, but now not so much. Yeah, the educational system um, here, now fight. has changed a lot since, uh, like, the Second Industrial Revolution and the World Wars, where it became more about evaluating kids' competency rather than training skill, uh, skill paths. Kane Laser, 99 cents. Thank you. 07 salute for you. The job I'm going to into going for is safe from being automated. Occupational therapy. There you go. I know people a lot of people are against automation. What it means though is people are gonna have to become you know skilled in things that are automation proof. Or you need to be in the industry that designs and engineers automation. A lot of people say that's not bad. Make our lives easier that way. We just we're gonna have to develop different skill sets. And in the end, you hope it frees us up for more leisure time. Do you know what about any ancient ad ancient educational systems? We talked briefly about it, like military preparedness. Yeah, I mean, much of our <clears throat> modern uh, education system too is modeled. Uh, you know, since the Renaissance is modeled after Greco-Roman schools. Where you learn about, uh, yeah, math, science, rhetoric, like speaking. That used to be something ta taught a lot more in ancient schools. But the humanities, um, that's kind of came back during the Renaissance. And was trying to mimic Greco-Roman schools. Hey, $1.99. Thank you, can uh, Laser. Salute. Hey, Kiwi. How you doing? Hey, we got that place done. Cool beans. Yeah, let's 07 our uh, donators. They can feel appreciated. We keep the channel alive. Yeah, thanks a lot, Laser. I gotta get out of here. Is the door open? Okay. I'm pretty good. I'm sick today. I didn't work. I stayed home, slept all day. Now I'm up and feel good enough to at least play video games. Which doesn't take much, you know. Storyteller? There's too many of these. I don't want to do... That mode. All right. Um, I want to keep playing, but I might want to break from Ghost. What should we play? I don't really feel like any more. I don't want to do another open world thing right now. So no, like Far Cry right now. What do I got an error for? I don't know. I don't have free space for Destiny. Right, I don't plan on playing that anytime real soon. Fall Guys, that'll just be frustrating. You guys want to watch videos? No, Caitlin, I said I don't feel like it. <laughs> Game Laser, another two bucks. Hello again. Hello, my friends. I'm down to watch some videos for a minute. You guys want to watch some videos? You want to watch another Carmen San Diego? Did you like that? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? <laughs> All right, Kiwi. Thanks. Thanks for stopping by.
That was kind of fun to watch some Carmen. Oh, this is the pilot? Pilot number one. This is the first ever Carmen San Diego episode. You want to watch that? It's the first episode. First ever episode. It's the pilot. Pilot number one. The Purloined Pooch. By the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. This program is brought to you by Toyota. It's the same sponsors from the last one we watched. That must have been first season, too. The thing you talked about was achievement gap. Yeah. Dude, this is horrible graphics. 480. Yo, Mike! This was like probably recorded on a VHS and then like filmed with a camera. This looks terrible though. Frankie, stop. Petty Larceny again? Kim Laser, thank you. Please watch Knowledge. They stole the dog. She was the enemy or whatever in the last episode we watched. All right, thanks a lot, Chief. Gun shoes, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start you off with 125 equity crime bucks. Travel to any place will cost you 10 crime bucks, but if you go to the wrong place, it'll cost you an additional five. In the other episode, you started with 50. Two of you that have the highest score at the end of this round. Dude, that middle kid's winning. Round. Got it? Got it. Okay. Chief, let's get started. All right. This fact just came in with an anonymous tip. <laughs> fact. Fly to one of the world's highest airports in the home of the Lhasa Apso breed. P.S. The region is now under Chinese control. Nepal, Kathmandu. Well, if you ask the Chinese, they'll say it's part of China. But if you ask the Dalai Lama... Oh, it's Tibet. It's not. All right. Thanks a lot, Chief. All right, Gumshoes. So what region did Patty Larceny take the Lhasa Apso? Here are your choices. They are Taiwan, Thailand, or Tibet. Now remember the clue. Look how big they made Tibet. It's the home of the Lhasa Apso. It's under Chinese control and Dalai Lama. Jerilyn, we'll start with you. What do you say? I picked Taiwan. Prashant, what do you think? I picked Tibet. Tibet. Mike, what do you say? I picked Tibet, too. Tibet, too. The answer we're looking for is Tibet. Nice job. You have two team points, and that's because you uh, went to the wrong place, and we had to bring you back. So that's why I cost you extra five bucks. Okay? Wait, now, what? we track Patty through the Himalayas, where a local resident had seen it all. Listen very closely to this next clue. You didn't hear it from me, but I heard she followed the Brahmaputra River down from the mountains to the sea. I mean, really, what's a nice girl like that India? doing on a freighter in the Bay of Bengal? What do they call that country? It was East Pakistan, India. but that was years ago. Thank you very much. Yuck. All right. Gumshoes. 
What country are we headed to next? Is it Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh. or Afghanistan? Remember the things that we heard from the... Uh, they were Brahma, uh, Brahmaputra River, Bay of Bengal, and formerly East Pakistan. What do you say? I say Bangladesh. East Pakistan. Bangladesh. What do you think, Prashant? Oh. I think Bangladesh also. Bangladesh. Mike? So did I. Everyone says Bangladesh, and everybody is... Right, that's the answer we're looking for. Dude, I want one of those jackets. So, let's see. Looks like everybody is hot on the trail right now. Patty Larson, Mike, you have 105 points. Prashant, you have 105. And uh, Jerry Lynn, you have 100 points. Very close game. Anybody could do this. Nice job. Look out! <laughs> oh, this could only, oh, this could only mean one thing. Newton, come in here, you little hooligan. Sorry about the window. Don't sort it, dude. It's just a special effect. But now, uh... What, uh, what is this? The bolts of herring. <laughs> John Daly, the, the golfer. Patty and the dog are in a country where herring and salmon are a big part of the cuisine. Most of the people live in the south, near Helsinki. The shield probably hide in the north, above the Arctic Circle. <gasps> Friend Rand? I'm a gifted child. Can I have my herring back? Uh, yeah, why don't you go, why don't you go along, okay? Hut, hut. Yeah. That that took like ten takes. You know? That guy does look like John Daly, though. Uh, the kid. Do you play any sports? Yes. What do you play? I uh, play soccer, and I'm on the swim team. Yeah. How about you, Mike? Um, yeah, I play soccer, basketball, and baseball. Uh huh. How about you, Jerry Lynn? I'm a cheerleader. Not bad. Not bad. Name the country, Gumshoes. Is it Ireland, Finland, or Denmark? Remember the things that we heard from Newton. Is Quickly cheerleading a sport? Is and salmon, Helsinki, and above the Arctic Circle. Looks like everybody's already ready. Jerry Lynn, we'll start with you. I picked Finland. Finland. Prashant, what do you say? I said Finland. Guys, I could compete Finland. against these, say? like, junior Finland. high kids. Yes, we're looking for Finland. These, like, eighth graders I or whatever they are. So, Jerry Lynn, that brings you down to 90. Prashant, 95. And Mike, 95. Acting Prashant. Nice job, gumshoes. Oh. Greg! Stop that. I know you're doing that. Stop that. Sorry. In my office. Now! Yes, ma'am. She's so good. She always does this. Just stick around. We'll be okay. <laughs> Hang tight. I want results, Greg. I want you to find Patty. I want you to bring back that... Then why are you interrupting us? Opto, what's his yeah, name? Opto, yeah. Yes. If you get Patty... She will lead us to Carmen San Diego, and that's what I want. Now report, Buster. Okay. Well, we had a talking yak for a while, which kind of threw us for a little All bit. Right, wait. I'll sweeten the pot for the gumshoes. Okay. Gumshoes, okay. find Carmen, and I will send you anywhere in the whole country. Why not? Oh, uh, anywhere in the lower 48 states. Hey, hey, it's still a heck of a deal. <laughs> <laughs> Later on, it's anywhere in North America. Oh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Everything's okay. <laughs> hey, watch over here. I want to go to gum shoes. We now have a Akron, Ohio. That Patty sent the owner of the pooch. Watch and see what it says. If it isn't too much trouble, please bring 100 million lira to the Via de la Grosa. Lira, Italy. I'll be enjoying fettuccine at Alfredo's. If I don't get the money by the time they serve the cappuccino, Apso will become a little doggone. Molto grazia. I mean, thank you so grazie. very much. Ciao. Sounds like a polite threat. Okay, Gumshoes, name the city. Is it Athens, Tunis? Why are their scores or... going down? Remember the clues that we heard from the note. Lira, Via della Scrofa, and Fettuccini. All right, looks like everybody's Roma. ready. Jerry Lynn, we'll start with Calling you. Calling you out, Nate. I picked Rome. Rome. Prashant, what do you think? I picked Rome also. Okay, Mike, what do you say? Rome. He says Rome. The answer we're looking for? Rome, nice job, young two. Easy. All right, so that means Jared Lynn, you come down to 80, Rashad 85, and Mike 85, Acme Crime Bucks. Nice job, everybody. No, look, All right, uh, they're getting, coming and left their Rome score's going down, down, down even though they're getting it right. But the fly on the wall has the answer. So listen very closely, if you will, please. Oh, Spanish and Italian's the same thing. From the fly. 
My cousin says she's in New England with Snarling Joe Pupnapper, international dealer in purloined pooches, hides dogs on Lake Winnipesaukee. Joe goes into the capital of Concord to buy generic dog food. Not very tasty for flies or for doggies. Oh, gee. All right. Gumshoes, name the place. Is it Pennsylvania, New Hampshire, or Vermont? Remember the clues that we heard from the fly? New England, Lake Winnipesaukee, and the capital, Concord. Jerilyn, we'll start with you. I picked New, New Hampshire. Hampshire. New Hampshire. For shot? I picked New Hampshire also. New Hampshire also. Mike, what do you say? New Hampshire. Everybody says New Hampshire. The answer we're looking for? New Hampshire. Okay. These kids are smarter than the other show, the other episode we watched before. All right, still a very close game here. Jerilyn, you have 70 for shot, 75. Mike, you have 75 Acme Crime Bucks. Nice job, everybody. Now, we have this special report from a couple of special agents. Listen very closely to this next clue. Guys? Penn and Teller? Yes. Okay, here's the scoop. In 1901, people in New Mexico just hanging out, being groovy, minding their own business, when all of a sudden, bats show up. I mean, they're flying all over the place. There are, there are hundreds of bats, thousands of bats, millions of bats, billions, Sagan bats. Oh, uh, thanks, okay. Caitlin. See ya. Like, like a thousand <coughs> bats, okay? Now, you know where they're coming from? Hey, check it out. They're coming from underground, from a real, live bat cave. Well, they looked underground and found 23 miles of tunnels, chambers, corridors, and vaults. They even found a giant dome way there underground. And it was so cool, they decided to open a national park, turn into a national monument. So, the next time you're near the Guadalupe Mountains, tell them Guadalupe and get a free blank stare with every visit. Okay, come choose, name the national park. Is it Carlsbad Caverns? Yep. Big Bends or Arches? Remember the clues that we heard? New Mexico, Bats, National Park, Guadalupe Mountains. Jerilyn, we'll start with you. I picked Carlsbad Caverns. Carlsbad Caverns. Prashant? I picked Carlsbad Caverns. All right, Mike? I picked Carlsbad Caverns. We're all in agreement here, and everybody right. That's the answer we're looking for. Nice job. Okay, so Geraldine, that brings you down to 60 for shot, down to 65. Mike, you have 65 Acme Crime Bucks. Nice job, everybody. Now, I want to remind you that this is now the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, we'll take it away from your score. You can I still understand why they, zero, the scoring five, is the way it 10, is. 15, or 20 it wasn't like this in other shows. Now, look right over here to the part of the world where we think Patty Bentley Arcee Bieber. If you know a lot about this part of the best world, you want to risk a little bit more. But if you We're don't know very much, you may not want to risk quite so much. Okay? So take a look at the map and think about it. Okay, time's up. Everybody have your Hey, Bentley wrists Beaver, though, ready? over Jeremy, on Twitch. Okay. Oh. I wonder who that could be. Hold on. Hey guys, what's up? Oh, Patty, looking for a friend. Oh, Patty, looking for a peach pretty Patty. Went to a southern reach, pretty Patty. Down to a town burn right to the floor. Way, way back in the Civil War. Yeah, mercy. A cappella, they're so good. Here we are, folks. Final clue. Name the possible city. Is it Mobile, Alabama? I wasn't even paying attention Charleston, to the song. South Carolina though. or Atlanta, Georgia. Remember the clues that we heard. It's nicknamed the Peach State, capital of state burned during the Civil War. Atlanta! Jaylen, you have 60 points. We're going to start with you. Before you show me the answer, how much did you risk? I risked five points. Five points. <laughs> if you get the, this one right, you'll be tied for the lead. What'd you say? I said Atlanta. Atlanta is exactly the answer we're looking for. Nice job, Jerry Lynn. Okay. 
Next, for shot, we'll start with you. You have 65. Uh -huh. Yeah, can you stick it on it up there? Here, I'll help you. Uh -huh. If you get this one right, you will take the lead. What do you say? I said Atlanta. Atlanta. Oh, yes, that is. It. So that puts Dang you, General you Sherman. Bucks. Mike, you have 65 prime bucks. No. What did you say? How much did you risk? 15. 15. That means if you're right, you'll be tied for the lead with Prashant, and both of you will go on to the next round. I said Atlanta. <laughs> Thank you very much. Atlanta's what we're looking for. Nice job. That's He's like, shut up. Just let me do my answer. Next round. Jerry Lynn, listen, you're a great detective. You did some fine work today. Thank you for joining us. And we have a special Acme travel kit that I think is going to help you in your next case. Chief? It's the official Acme Crime Net travel kit. She only missed one question. A world traveler's Did their kids may, uh, an official got all of them. watch, a common sweatshirt, and a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine. And our thanks for all your good work on this case. And gumshoe. I want that I sweater you. and... Dude, can I buy Carmen San Diego merch? It's now time for you to go on to Atlanta. You're going to chase Patty Larceny and try to find the uh, the pooch. I want to buy. I want you to know we don't send you out into the field unprepared. Chief, how about a briefing? The boys down at Photo Recon have put together a slideshow to give you an idea of Atlanta's layout. Now, Apsa Sinkai may be a high-class pedigree, but beneath that carefully coiffed coat beats the heart of a dog. And every dog loves to play in the grass. Man, I should buy the new game. There's Atlanta new Botanical Gardens. 30 acres of forest, exotic plants, and grass. Watch where you step. He could leave clues anywhere. Fox Theater. Features a Moorish Egyptian art deco design. And you know what they say. Nothing That's cool attracts looking. a crook like a Moorish Egyptian art deco design. Now, if you hear strange wailing, don't be surprised. The fox has the second largest organ in the nation. Patty might go someplace really far away. The past. Scope out the history center. Houses, exhibits, recreating Atlanta's past. And remember the Acme model gumshoe. Any place, any time. Acme agents catch the crime, Manolo. Yeah. <laughs> it just needs... A little work. It's a rough draft. <laughs> He's a little polished. <laughs> well, that's the slideshow, folks. Good luck in Atlanta. Any place, any time. Acme Yeah, this Road. was a very in, uh, yeah. Bentley uh, over on Twitch uh, back in the 90s growing up. Find the loot and the war. Ooh. What's that? History Center. History Center. Nothing there. Mike, your turn. City Hall. City Hall. Fox, Fox Theater. Fox Theater. <laughs> find that one... That we're missing. Okay, Prashant, your turn. Zero mile post. <laughs> and the oh, zero mile post, okay? Nothing there. Okay, Mike, your turn. Don't let me down. We gotta Fort find Walker. her. Fort Walker. <laughs> Got it. Fox Theater. There's one. City Hall. There's Got three. it. And there's three. Nice job, Mike. Okay. Mike. We'll talk about your next adventure in just a little bit. Prashant. Yeah, Mike. Detective. Yeah. John Daly. See, he just got unlucky. That, that last game was pure luck. It's a pocket translator for instant translations of 14,000 words and phrases in... Dude, they missed a whole section. Nice work, Gumshoe. There was a whole section they didn't do of the show. Some of the rapid-fire questions, they didn't do them. And Petty Larson's in jail. Okay, Mike, we know that Carmen San Diego is still in the U.S. The question is where? Chief? All right, Mike, here's a list of the places our Acme Global Surveillance Bureau thinks Carmen may have traveled. Alaska. Idaho. Utah. Dude, she's not going to Oklahoma, Idaho, okay? Texas. Minnesota. Missouri. Tennessee. Kentucky. North Carolina. New York. Pennsylvania. Over to you, Greg. Dude, he just needs to identify right, you, okay, Mike, here's what you're gonna have those to do. states. You're gonna have to track Carmen San Diego through seven That's so states so much easier than doing countries. Now, if you're right, you'll hear this sound. Last one they did, it was African countries. It was so wrong, hard. You'll hear this sound. Okay? Now, if you're wrong, if you can't find the state after two tries, just give up and go on. But if you're right and get all seven states within 45 seconds, you're gonna win a trip to almost anywhere in the lower 48 United States. Sounds okay? Yeah. Sound good to you guys? Yeah. Okay. 
Let's go up here and get your first flag. Here we go. All right, let's get 45 seconds up on the clock. Good luck to you, Mike. On your mark, get set, go. The birthplace of Dwight Eisenhower in the home of J.R. Ewing. Carmen went to Texas. Nickname, yes. Nickname the Keystone State. Its capital city is Harrisburg. Carmen went to Pennsylvania. Yeah. Nickname the Beehive State. Its capital is Salt Lake City. Carmen went to Utah. A birthplace of Mickey Mantle and home of the Cowboy Hall of Fame. Carmen went to Oklahoma. Yeah, that's four. Come on, bro. Elvis Presley called this state home. Carmen went to Tennessee. Yes, sir. You're enough time. That's not where Alaska is. <laughs> he did not make it. They gave it to him, though. It's like how they're not even done reading the clues. How is he supposed to do that? That's like unfair. He went immediately when they said the state. Before the show, you decided on a Here we go, Akron, Ohio. You put it inside this envelope. I want you to hold it like this, open it up, and we'll find out where you and a parent are going to go. It is Sarasota, Florida. Nice job. Sarasota, Florida. Cool. That's the age, though, like where you learn the U.S. states. That would be the easiest time to do that. Though. Islander music. Whoa. Okay, I don't need to hear that song anymore. <laughs> All right, that was a good another episode. All right, guys, I am going to get off. I don't know if I'm going to come back later. Maybe I do. I'm not sure. I need to go, like, get dinner and stuff. So we'll kind of end things, at least for now. Uh, be sure to join in the Discord server and uh, all the stuff on all the different YouTube channels, of course. Thanks for liking the video or the stream. That helps, I think. And with that, we will uh, we'll see you guys later. I'm going to go ahead and play you out some tunes. We'll see you later. Have a good night.